So how long has it taken to get to this point? Five years. Five years. Um, people here tonight, um, have, uh, most of them have been on that journey for five years. Some people, <coughs> excuse me, some people came in later on when it became, um, we added some war stuff to it because the war stuff was never part of the original concept. Um, so some of them are here from that time. A lot of them are here from the whole journey. And it was a Friends film. A lot of people I grew up with, the lead actor, uh, Alan, is someone that I grew up with. Um, so we had that chemistry before we even did the film and it was absolutely amazing. What was that like working with someone you've known for so long doing that kind of relationship? It's pretty much real life really. Um, again, I was primary school with Chris and growing up in Thamesmead, uh, it was very similar. You know, Chris has always been a little bit of a clever boy. Um, I've been a little bit stupid and the only way you can get through is by I toughening up and fighting. So it was quite natural to just to get on and do this with Chris. Um, it, he guided me all the way, really. Um, he just said, just do exactly what we used to do when we was growing up and we just took it from there. Now, you mentioned the uh, blood in the film. Is there a lot of gore, something quite gruesome in this one? Yes. <laughs> um, we did blown our eyes, a blown off leg. Um, I can't remember what else, it's that long ago. But there's two very, very gruesome looks, yeah. So um, how accurate is the military stuff within the film? Um, there's certain aspects of it which we made quite authentic, as in sort of like some of the military uh, training side of things. A little bit of it was for dramatic reasons. Obviously, you know, you, you, you can't do certain things. Now, there are a lot of hooligan films out there at the moment, you know, gangster films, that kind of thing. What makes this film different to all of those films? Um, I think it's uh, got a unique take on it because it, it doesn't take itself too seriously and you kind of look at it and um, you're going to enjoy the characters and enjoy the story because, because they're not too gritty and not too serious about everything. And um, I, think, I think a lot of the hooligan films out there really want to try too hard. I think what you really need to do is to entertain people. Well, this film's different because most of the squaddies are ex-squaddies or people that have served with the army, air force and other services. But the ones that haven't, that are in there amongst them, have been trained by the same people that have served. And this one, it'll give you a touch to see the difference, different mindset in life. I think it, 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 it's got an element of everything. It's got an element of comedy, an element of seriousness. You know, when, when you watch it, obviously, you, you, you'll see that there's a funny side of it and there's a sad side of it. And the best thing about it, there's actually a storyline to it as well. Um, usually a lot of them are based like on just like uh, the old school London gangster styles. But with this, they put like a nice little twist on it where the lads have actually They've got their camaraderie, not by the streets of London, but from the horrors of war, basically. And the humour, the banter of being in the army, the banter you have with those sorts of people, um, it differentiates just a basic hooligan film where there's no story, it's just fighting, fighting. This has actually got a good story to it and people do like it. Round up the troops. 